Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will show you how we can delete Office 365 user via PowerShell. And I will also show you how we can delete user permanently from Office 365 using PowerShell. Usually we delete a user from Office 365 and it goes to deleted folder. Right here, it goes to deleted folder for 30 days and it will remain in the deleted folder for 30 days. Let me show you by live example. Okay, let's delete the user test one. Delete user. Okay. Okay, now this user has been deleted and this user will remain for 30 days in the deleted users list and we will be able to restore it from deleted folder. So there is no way to remove this user from this folder using using graphical user interface but we can get rid of this user using PowerShell. So let's log in to Office 365 via PowerShell so I will be able to show you how we can delete user from delete folder or how we can simply delete a user from Office 365. So let's connect to Office 365. I will use this command to connect to Office 365. Okay. If you have any problem in connected to in connecting to Office 365 via PowerShell, I have created a recent video how we can connect to Office 365 Admin Center via PowerShell, and I will add that video link in description so you will be able to find that video as well. Let me paste the password here. And sign in okay let's wait for signing in okay <clears throat> so first let me show you how we can delete a user from office 365 right so I will use this command okay I will delete a user test zero two. It's asking me for confirmation. I am I am pressing yes and hit enter. Okay. Let's verify. So now we should have two user in the deleted folder one from the graphical user interface we have deleted with the graphical user interface and let's refresh the page if we have second user who we have deleted via powershell shortly see test 2 we have also deleted a test 2 user and now it's in the deleted folder right so let's see how we can remove the user from deleted folder before 30 days policy so if you want to see from the powershell for verification let's verify from powershell that 
how many user we have in deleted folder we should have two yeah test one and test two i will paste all these commands in the video description so you can get these commands so now let's delete a single user from deleted folder as we have two user in the deleted folder test one and test two so i will delete here test one from the deleted folder so let me type an email test one okay hit enter now it's asking are you sure type y and hit enter okay for verification let's see now how many user we have in the deleted folder right so first let's check with this command see we have only test 2 in the deleted folder as we have deleted test 1 from the deleted folder before 30 days let's refresh see for your confirmation we have only test 2 so the last command i want to show you that for example if we want to delete all of the user from the deleted folder right if you want to delete all of the user from deleted folder we can use this command so currently <coughs> as the deleted folder have only user right so let's delete one more user so we should have more than one user here then i will show you how we can empty deleted folder user from powershell so let's see if we have any other user here okay test 3 i am deleting test 3 leave the user okay now we should have more than one user in the deleted folder test 2 and test 3 okay that's great now we should we can check uh, from powershell as well let's see we should have two users in that related folder yes we have two so let's empty the deleted folder right by deleting more than one user so enter okay okay let's now see if we have all users deleted from the deleted folder now we don't have any user in the deleted folder let's verify from graphical user interface deleted folder is empty now thank you for watching Keep supporting and keep sharing knowledge with others. Goodbye.